Welcome to Toffee TV. It is player ratings. First one of the season. Everton 3, Southampton 1. Get me, get your thoughts in. Let's see what your your play... Let me know who your man of the match was for this game. Um, very, very strange game, obviously. Don't know. Just obviously there was an air of... <clears throat> I don't know what it was, but ha just a general feeling of... Um, confusion i think hanging over some fans ahead of this game lots of issues during the week people getting worried about a lot of different things um and obviously the first half wasn't great um a mistake by michael Keane led to them uh scoring really the only chance they had in the whole game um and <coughs> excuse me and second half, we came out with a lot more fire under our belly, in our belly, sorry. A little tactical change with um, with Charleston playing more centrally rather than being on the left, and and Gray going out to the to the to the to the left hand side, and it worked, and we had a lot more energy, and we were a lot more positive, and getting the goal straight away really helped, settle everyone down, settled the crowd down. Which were quite despondent, you know. You know, going because it just, <laughs> it just felt like one. It was going to be one of those days because we really hadn't, um, we really hadn't done much. Um, and it was a great second half. A lot more energy, a lot more pace, a lot more better tempo. What we want, just what we want as as Evertonians. I think. I think the style suits us a lot more in the first half. Um, I think in the first half, everyone was just trying to be too, just too on it, more than anything else, just trying to be, everything had to be the right pass, and, and second half, we just started playing a little bit longer, a little bit more direct, hitting balls into channels for, maybe it was players not quite understanding what other players could do, but obviously having Gray down the left hand, left hand give us a lot more. Uh, Adam Hockenberry, thank you, my friend. Lots of little birds on the super chat there um, to symbolise uh, Richarlison. I just don't think. Rich I mean, I'm going to go. I am actually going to do some player ratings, but um, because it's been so long, I just wanted to have a general a, a general chat um, because I don't always get to do that <laughs> when I'm in the when I'm doing me after the instant match action in the ground. I always feel like I'm being rushed. Um, people shouting to get and I can never quite collect my thoughts and can't really just sit here and just chat just waffle on um, in the match it's got to be quick and precise um, but I thought you know with Charleston first I've just I don't think he quite get hold of the game and once he went inside and, and he could just play a lot more just like one touch stuff where he didn't have to beat somebody I thought that really helped him Grace Pace helped us he was getting a lot more crosses in um, lovely to see Lovely to see, you know, us playing down the left hand side and not relying on, you know, um, Dean all the time. And that, you know, it was, it was, it was good. Just a really good second half. First half wasn't great, but the second half was, um, and we just took, we just took control of the game, didn't we? Midfielders, midfielders started started to be a little bit more snappy. Um, and it was just a hell of a lot better. It was just a hell of a lot better and just felt like Everton. Being back in the ground felt like being, you know, Everton. Not watching on TV. Actually being there. The smells, the sounds, the moans, the groans. Um, <laughs> it all it all plays its part, believe it or not, when you go to the match. It really do, does. And you only need that little one, one little moment to change things. And I think... You know, us getting a, an early corner and keeping keeping the pressure on the Richarlison, really, so important, so important. Um, and as I said, I think what it was second half. I think it was the tech, the little uh, tactical change by the manager. I love that little technical change of just of just saying Richarlison go front because it's not working out there. Greg wasn't working centrally. You know, he's tried something and it hasn't quite worked out. And, Sometimes, you know, those things might work later on in the season when once all the team gets to know each other. But Richardson played from like a default position in the second half and I think he benefited massively. Listen, when he's a little bit more 
you know, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say he's not fit because he's been um, he's been playing football for the last the last two months. Excuse me. Um, but he hasn't probably won of trading loans this week, and just playing just off the striker really is better. It's just better for him, I think. And I think we'll, I think as we go along, we'll we'll find out exactly what suits us. The first game of the season is never ever any indication really of what's going on, but you can fall into things. I think Townsend certainly he worked really hard on that right hand side and. Yeah, so delighted, delighted we got three goals, delighted obviously with the three points, but it was nice that, it was just nice to have the extra goal as well, just to give us that little bit extra in the final minutes, just to make sure um, that if anything bad happened that it wouldn't affect the game, but um, Richarlison I think grew with the crowd as well. Um, but there you go, and I think I think he'll always grow with the crowd because that's what he wants, that's what he loves. He is. He loves playing football. He absolutely loves playing football in front of a crowd, that lad. And I think it showed today. Uh, let me just, let's just start going through the player, player ratings because that's what this video is. Um, Pickford in goal, six, a six. Um, didn't have anything really to do. Their goal was a great finish, let's be honest. He put it right in the top corner. Um, his kicking was a little bit off. But he dealt with most things. He came for punches and he came for crosses from corners and dealt with them pretty, pretty comfortably. Um, and yeah, yeah, he 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 was he was fine. He was fine. He was fine. Uh, but I'm giving him a six. Seamus Coleman, uh, a seven. I think he started off a little bit nervously, um, trying to a lot of times just like running across his own back line with the ball and maybe again. Maybe it's getting out the habit of what you played with before. Maybe a manager who doesn't want balls it into space. And I think once he calmed down and started to just hit hit put balls into, you know into areas rather than worrying about getting it directly into someone's feet. I thought I thought he was fine. I've given him a seven. Uh Luca Dean on the other side, a six. Um I think we I think I don't I think he looked a little bit not quite himself today. Just little moments. Never re never really quite got as forward as much because Gray was playing in front of him. Um I think he'll you know, he might take a few weeks. Don't forget he came off the Euros. Um come off the Euros with an injury. He's had a couple of games, but I don't think he's quite up to speed yet. I think that Joe today. So give him a six. Um Michael Keane a four. Looked looked uncomfortable all day, if I'm honest. Give um, the goal away, stupidly. The The fact that they had Armstrong and Jay Adams, people with pace, closing them down straight away. He looked he looked terrified, I thought, all game. And I thought, once he gave the goal away, just you could see the confidence drain out of him again. He's, he's just... He's never, ever going to be a starting centre-back for me, ever. Ever. He's just not. Um, and he's not commanding enough for me, so I'm just, you know, I I think I think that mistake just just shows for me the kind of player that he is. It's just every he, everything just feels dead mechanical. He's not very loose, and yeah, I just I just um, if I if I could sell him, I'd sell him, and I've I've said that for a while to be honest. Um, Mason, I didn't think Mason Olgate was much better, apart from the fact that he didn't didn't make a mistake like that. I've given him a five. I honestly didn't think he was much better. I thought he looked so nervous on the ball, and again though their players closing him down, I just thought he looked so nervous. And I think those two are not our starting centre backs. I think Mina and Ben Godfrey are starting centre backs. And once Mina's got a little bit more training under his belt, I think he'll come in as our number one and alongside him is the pace. I think that they're our starting centre backs. The problem with Mina is is the injuries. Um but I just Holgate just again he just looked worried with the pace all the time. Um, second half it calmed down because the ball never got that far forward and their centre forwards never got any more chances but for me they're not a partnership um, at all um, and never will be uh, Alan I've given Alan 
a six. He was okay. He running around doing his normal, you know, trying to break up the game. Um, few little passes given away, but in the most part, it was fine. Nothing amazing, just fine. Just did his job to the best he could, um, and he did it fine. And 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 that's and that's all you want from him. Um, hopefully he'll grow a little bit more playing in front of the crowds. Uh, but I thought he was fine to give him a six. Uh, the core alongside them to deck. Well, what his goal was just fantastic, wasn't it? His goal was absolutely fantastic. Um, he just second half, first half, thought again. First half, the momentum of the game was just this like tippy tappy crap and we weren't stretching them at all we weren't getting behind them we weren't uh, moving as a team and I thought second half re he really benefited from that because he started really getting up and down the pitches we started to stretch them and I thought his goal his goal was fantastic absolutely fantastic um, you know he was involved in the build-up and then to finish it like that, that's what we want. Me and Baz were bemoaning last week the fact that against Manchester United in the friendly, the opportunities you had to just swing your leg at it and today he just smashes one. And it reminded me of um, Lee Carsley when we played when we played Birmingham City, you, you know, about 2008, I think it was. I think we were 1-0 down and we got a... He scored the second goal late on and that's all you want from your centre. You want a centre midfielder to break, break into the box... And just get around. And all he started to do, second half, was he just started to physically dominate the game. I thought it showed today as well with the refereeing. Players were allowed to be phys to be physical on each other without it being a foul a lot more. Not all the time, but I thought a lot of the time it was great to see that we could, you know, players could assert themselves on other players without being worried it was a foul. I thought that was a, let's see how long it lasts, but I thought that was great. And I think he, he just started to stride and win all the little nick the balls and everything. And I just, especially that second half, he start he started to knit it together and just be that extra player breaking through. Um, so I've given him an eight and a half for the game. Um, only because just there was moment, just because I didn't think, I didn't think he was amazing first half. I thought he was okay. I just didn't think he was amazing. But second half, like everyone else, he, he really benefited from... The manager obviously saying to people, let's be more aggressive. Because that's what I really thought we missed at first half was being having that little bit of aggression in our play. It was just passive. It was just like, oh, we'll just move the ball around and then we'll give it away. And then second half, they were like, oh, God, there's a crowd here. We might need to do something. We're one nil down. Um, and I just thought that really helped him. And you know, we need a lot more of that see this season. Uh, Gray, I've give Gray uh, a seven. First half, I thought he was um, not in the game at all. And the minute he went wide, I thought suddenly the game he started to stretch the game. He put a couple of great crosses in um, on the run as well, which is always good when a defender thinks he's done his job and the the player gets the ball in. And I just think he he just helped stretch them and stretch the pitch. I thought he really, you know. That's what's important, like I was saying about the Corey. It's about stretching the pitch. It's about creating gaps all over to allow our players to run through it. And I think as soon as he went wide and he was direct, Richarlison was trying to pick the ball up and run with it. He was getting the ball and just being direct down the wing and putting a cross in. And it, we benefited from it so, so big. So, and um, it was, it was, you know, and that, without being... Without having loads of touches or doing anything mad, it was just that. It was the fact that he was running at them directly that really I thought really helped our play second half. Um, and I think Townsend on the other side give him a seven as well. I think he was the same. Without being, he just contributed in these little moments where um, he got involved again. First half, not massively in the game, but second half, I thought he was. I thought he just started to come inside a lot more, be an extra man inside and then get wide, put crosses in, be more direct, have a shot now and again. That's what we need. That's all we need, I think. Players willing to have a chance, players willing to break into the box and I thought Townsend uh, and Gray both did that today. Uh, Richarlison, Richarlison, 
first half, quiet, out wide, trying to do things, but without, without doing, um, without things breaking for him. But second half, the minute he went in that, whether it be a number ten role or just off Dominic Carvalhoon, the game transformed. So it was good that the manager identified that straight away. Good management. That's good management. Um, and he was on it straight away. Took his goal brilliantly. He was alive in the box. He wanted it more than anyone, and he took it and he got his goal. And then you know he gets the assist for the third goal. But as soon as he got that goal, you could see it. he was on it. Richarlison of the season before last, straight away, energised by the crowd, up for it, just wanting to be the main man like he always is. You know, before the game, the Gladys he sung his name and he was patting his chest and patting the badge. And, and you, yeah, man, manager, you know, everyone knows how important he is. Everybody knows. And last season wasn't his best season, but now he's straight on it. Now he scored straight away. He's got an assist. He's, you know, you can see that 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 confidence will flow every single week. I think for him, um, because he, as soon as the manager puts you in the team, shows how important you are to the side. You've come straight back into it. No, no issues of like sitting on the bench for this one because you've been it away. No, you're back in the team. You're important to this team, and I think he feeds on all that's why he loves playing for Brazil as well. He feeds off it. He loves playing football. He's genuinely one of the only footballers who absolutely loves playing football. And you can't say anything anything about that. A footballer who loves playing football is, is the most important thing. Um, and he really gave us that spark second half um, to get going. So I've given him an eight and a half as well um, with the core. Because I just, it's, as I said, it's, sometimes it's not always about what you do. It's about how you do it. It's, a, it's about just the energy you put into the game. It's about saying to the opposition, no. Because I thought first half, I thought they did really well first half. I thought... They did that. I thought Armstrong and Shay Armstrong, especially and Shay Adams, were always on us. And the lad they had wide, always on us, quick, quick. It was always quick, and we were slow, and the passes were sloppy. And second half, we started to do that in moments. Not all the way through the second half. There was a little bit. There was like a ten minute spell um, after it got to one one, where they had quite a lot of corners and stuff. They didn't didn't obviously didn't have many chances, but they put us under a little bit of pressure. And then we just started to grow. Um, and obviously we got the second goal. But um, So I've given Richie 8.5. Dominic Carvalho, I've given him a 7. Again, you can see he hasn't trained all week. And obviously he gets the, probably an extra mark for the uh, score and the goals. Um, he was quiet for most of the game. And then, and then you know, he was always a threat because of you know, throwing crosses in and stuff like that. I thought he was quiet for most of the game. But then he gets his goal, and that's what a centre forward is there to do. So I've given him uh, Dominic Carvalhoon a seven. He'll grow as the season goes along because he's only been back a week and he uh, or a couple of weeks, sorry, and he had a toe injury and he hasn't played any preseason games. So he'll he'll grow as the season goes along, and you know, just great that he got off the off the mark today, like he got off the mark the first game last season. For a centre forward, that's huge. Centre forward, that's absolutely huge. So just. Be at it from day one. And as I said, the same with Richarlison, so I've given him a seven. Uh, the subs, Andy Gordon was only on for a couple of minutes, didn't do anything mean of the same. A Wobi, um I've given Wobi a seven. An interesting one because I thought oh well we came on and obviously it was at one one. And he plays a part in the second goal. Um and I don't think he did anything particularly well, but I think he again pushed them back. It was a it was a good sub to have. It was Townsend maybe wasn't going, wasn't going or starting to maybe tired in that area and maybe, and will we give something else a little bit something different? And it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, there's one where a ball came across, um, and he had a chance to side foot it, and I thought this is if he gets contact on this, he scored, and he didn't. He he shanked in, it went wide, but he was involved and he started to push them back and he's given something a little bit different and he. Set up the core for the goal, and he also had the pre-assist, the pre-assist for Richarlison's cross for the third goal. So obviously he was involved in the second and third goals, and he just gave us something a little bit different. It was nice actually to see someone. You know, when I was in the match, I was a bit like, oh, a Wobie again. But when you revisit the game back in your head, you get a little bit more clarity on it. And and you know, he did, 
he did um he did contribute to the second and third goal and he did give us something off the bench so that was that was huge so fair play to him for coming on and doing that and obviously in a couple of you know in next week hopefully the week after we'll have the likes of Gabama to add something we'll have the likes of Moise Keane to add something and maybe Hamas Rodriguez to add that as well to keep people on their toes and our centre backs could be a completely different pairing and you know if we can get a couple out and we can get a couple in whether they be on loan or, or whatever then we might have the opportunity then to just have those players off coming off the bench. It was really nice to see Anthony Gordon come off the bench. Um, I, I did think that we did see though when I think there was a he, he had he was breaking with the ball and the lad just leaned in so when he fell over and he, he still looks a little bit lightweight. Um, but you just want to see players come off the bench and have an effect, and that's all that's all you can ever ask for them. And we haven't had that. We haven't had that in the past. We just haven't. So it was nice for a Wobi to come on, and he he what you know he was involved. He did help. He set the fair, he set the second goal up with his little. He was he was involved in the build up, and then he put the header down to the Corey, and obviously the fit, and he fed Richarlison in to the cross. So he was involved. So fair play to him. Um, yeah, but we got we got listen. We got three points. Most people in the comments I'm noticing now are saying now that Richarlison and Decore, you're absolutely spot on. I've got them at eight and a half each. But it was just nice to have that second half. It was nice to see three goals. Um, it was nice to come back from being a goal behind as well. I can't actually even. I'm just. I was trying to think. I can't actually remember the last time I was at Goodison and we came back from being a goal behind while I was in the in the ground. I can't actually remember that when that happened. Um, it's been a while. It's been it has been a while. Because the first time it had happened for a while was Wofford, wasn't it? When we beat them three two. So I can't actually remember being in the ground, but um, but fantastic! What a fantastic start to the season. Three one, Southampton. We'll see. We'll see how they get on. But just for the yeah, so it is all about. It's all about your big players. It's all about your Dominic Carvaloons. It's all about your Richarlison's, and it's about getting the ball into those players because they will score goals if you create opportunities. It's about creating opportunities for those two players. So, I am absolutely delighted with that. As you can imagine, I'm a little bit hoarse as well um, because it was great to just get in there and have a sing. It'll be. It's gonna be. Uh, it'd be interesting to hear what people feel about, obviously, like the manager and stuff. His when he came out, there was a bit. I wouldn't say it was a mixed rea- reaction. It was like a. It was a quiet applause. Uh, a couple of boos in the background, but um, it was a quiet applause. He'll have known. He'll have known today. It wasn't gonna be a. Um, you know, a resounding applause for him. That'll grow. That'll grow. Um, yeah. Glenn just asked me which was my favourite goal. Oh, do you know what? I'm a sucker for a diving header, and I actually think in that moment I didn't actually think it was going to go in. I thought it was going to get the goal. He was actually going to make a save, but the second one was good though, wasn't it? The second one was the finish was lovely. We come at the right time, get us in the get us in the lead. Um, but it it was yeah. It was just nice to be back with a really nice atmosphere, um, and just enjoy the, the f- enjoy a win, enjoy three points. What more do you want to start the season? Get you off on the right foot. Um, I you know we've seen today, likes of Villa, the likes of Leeds, have lost games. Leeds obviously losing quite heavily. Um, you know Wofford have won today, and Palace have been battered as well. So. It was, uh, you know, you don't want to lose on your first game. It's been a while since Everton. Um, been a while since Everton. I've lost on the first game, but I'm happy with that. Three points, three points, and uh, we look forward to, yeah, we'll look forward to next week's game. But there you go. Make sure you check out my instant match reaction from the Gladys Street if you haven't. Baz's videos will be up soon, I'm sure, as well. We'll be doing the um, final word on 
Monday from the studio. That'll be live over on Patreon if you're on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon, why aren't you on Patreon? Come and join us. The link is in the description. And it'll be on the screen if you're watching this video not live. So uh, there you go. I'm delighted. I'm going to have a drink a cup of tea now and chill out for the rest of the night. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all later. See you later.